Hi guys, welcome to another video. So we're here again, um, just doing some finishing touches on the pergola on the pond. And I'll just show you one of the braces I've put on, uh, just the process of putting more of them on. So here's one of the small braces I've put on. I'm just going to repeat this. Uh, the angle is 45 degrees, but because it's not completely square, I've had to do a little bit of sanding down to get it to fit. And we've used those uh, coach screws that I've got. Um, to put it in to position so without further ado I'll show you how I'm making these so we have a piece of scrap piece of wood here let's just have a look at the size of this piece of wood so this piece of wood is about 35 centimeters long and what I need to do is use my angle square um, just to get myself a 45 degree angle just estimate it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like so. And then just line it off. So it's straight. A straight line. Do that for the other end. So again, just look for 45 degrees. 45 degrees gives us a straight line, and then just line it off. Like so. And then all we have to do is cut that, uh, we need to clamp it off, so I've got a piece of spare wood here. So we can just clamp this off, put that on there. Um, ready to cut. Um, and just tighten it off with these plastic clamps. Uh, if you're wondering, I've got these um, Iwin Quick Grip plastic grips off eBay for about 13 quid um, and they're not super strong but you know they're good enough to do the job and then it's just a matter of giving that a cut. Come in handy these lasers and these uh, circular saws so you can line it up. Do the same for the other end, so we can just Let's just see if we've cut a, a reasonable good angle. It seems uh, not far off. Let's see if it's better the other way around. Not quite. Um, I do need to sand it down a little bit because I don't think this pergola is completely square. Um, so I just need to sand it down a bit. I think what we'll do is we'll sand it down this end here and then, then it should fit right guys just a quick tip here if you've got a belt sander a hand sander and you want to use it as a flat bed belt sander get yourself a, a clamp and just clamp it and then it'll keep it reasonably stable while you do some sanding 
Just a quick tip that is. Sometimes your drill is a powerful enough, so you might have to be resorted to using ratchet. So guys, I thought you'd be interested in having a look at what that, that noise is in the background. So I thought I'd just show you my other pond as it stands. So guys, I thought I'd show you what I'm up to now. Um, I'm doing a, a front piece for the uh, front of the pond, um, just to cover up. And I'll show you what I mean when I put this on. But I'm, I just thought I'd just show you what I'm doing here. I'm just sanding that down so it, it actually matches uh, the Japanese style um, cuts that I've done on, on the gondola. So that's where I'm at, at the moment and I'll show you what it looks like when I put it on. Just to let you know how I'm sort of shaping that, I'm just literally getting my sander as such. to create the curve um, so it's not so ugly with it being square um, I think having curves on wood makes things look interesting and nice so after you've uh, used the sander um, I just want to use some standard sandpaper just to give it a bit more of a natural look See, it looks more natural when you do it by hand than when you do use a mechanical a device to do it. So it's a case of do the same on the other end. Make that look more natural. As you can see it looks alright that. I do need to restain it obviously. Um, but let me bring the camera over to the gondola and show you how it looks. So here we are. Put that on there, see how it looks. As you can see, what I want it to do is have um, something that matches that because obviously that would just stick out like that and it would be quite ugly. But putting a curve, curve on there actually makes it look nicer. 
Let me know in the comments what do you think. What do you think? Do you think it looks alright as it is? So guys, I thought I'd quickly show you the four supports that I've done. These are called braces uh, for bracing the wood. Just thought you'd like to see how I've been getting on. I'll just show you how it's been looking, how they're looking. They look quite neat and tidy. So those are the four braces. I will be putting another four on when I've got the ends done. But I'm going to put some brackets on these uh, um, cross sections. But I'll show you that when they eventually turn up. Which unfortunately will probably be when it's got dark. So I'll have to show you that in another video. But I just wanted to show you how it's going. So it looks from here. That's more how it looks. I'll show you how I've rounded the corners like that to try and sort of match in with that. And the same over here. Unfortunately, the bolts that I've ordered, these I think are about 100mm long, but they don't go through the entire thickness as you can see there. So I need to order a few um, longer ones. Um, but that's where we're at. So guys, thanks for watching, I'll leave it there, um, there's not much more I can do, um, unfortunately I need to get some new bolts that are longer to go through the 4x4 wood, as well as the 2 inch um, cross sections that I've put here, there, I better take that down just in case it falls down. Um, so when the brackets turn up guys, um, they were supposed to be next to the delivery but I'm still waiting for them at 5 o'clock at night. Um, so it's going to be too late for me to put them on and show you how you put them on the cross sections. So I'll do that in a separate video, um, there's not much more I can do now. Um, but I do want to say thank you and those of you that are building ponds, I'm watching your videos with interest. Um, it's interesting to see how people do other things different ways than I'm doing it. Anyway, um, I hope this video has been really nice to watch. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Again, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it if you do. There's a lot of people coming on and not subscribing. I would really appreciate it if you did. It just helps other people get to my videos. And I'd just, it'd be like a bit of a, a virtual handshake just to say the the video was okay. You know. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. And just keep ponding, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.